Previously on Solar Balls, several months ago, a mysterious planet known as Planet X decided to leave the solar system to search for a new place to call home. Can you believe how far away we are, Garamo? We must be, like, 2,000 astronomical units away from the sun at this point. Wow, that is quite far, Mr. Planet X. Don't I know it. Eh, at least we're doing some community service by bringing the Voyager 1 along with us. Is this an Earthling spacecraft, Mr. Planet X? Yep, they wanted to send a message into the cosmos, which they engraved on a little golden plaque. Wow, it has so many little details. Yep, things like how to find our sun, the lowest states of the hydrogen atom, even instructions on how to play a little message. Do you think it's a good idea for Earthlings to attempt to communicate with beings from beyond their solar system? Well, there's no reason to believe there's anything to worry about. Guillermo! Be okay, little buddy? I... I'll survive, Mr. Planet X. You're so brave, Guillermo. Hold on tight. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, this has the size of the tallest mountain on planet Earth. You know what it's called, little buddy? Mount Everest! That's right! <laughs> now why is there a loose ice asteroid this far away? Because if I'm not mistaken, this should be at the beginning of the Oort Cloud! <sighs> Once we cross this, we'll be... out. Really out. Why so silent? I'm just thinking. Thinking about what? About what you're thinking. Me? Pfft. I'm just, you know, wondering how everyone's doing back there. You mean the solar system? Yeah, I didn't leave on the best of terms with everyone. I wonder if they still think about me. If they are, okay. I guess we'll never know. Yep. <clears throat> so, ready to leave it all behind? You tell me! Literally. Ha! Ah, uh, okay, let's go. <sighs> what is it, Sedna? Planet X has now entered the Oort Cloud. Oh, so he's really leaving? Seems that way. Hmm. You know, this could mean trouble if they... I know! Call the others. What's that? You want to know more about the Oort Cloud? Of course I do, Mr. Planet X. Well, all right then. So there was this cool Earthling scientist named Jen Oort, who began to notice that many comets that came and went had their affiliate located at a similar distance. Affiliate? Is that a made-up word? All words are made up. But what this one means is the farthest point of a celestial body's orbit. Wow, so all these comets return to the Oort Cloud? Yup. Ironically, humans have never observed it. No one has, really. Wow, that's cool, right? Huh, I guess Proteus. I, I, I mean Guillermo. Why am I thinking about this now? He's no longer your friend. None of them are. They probably already forgot about you. Or hate you, or... <sighs> Anyways... How should we pass the time, Kiro? I don't know. How big is this cloud? I believe it can go all the way to 100,000 astronomical units, so... We'll be here for a while. Unless you break the laws of physics and go super fast! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey now! Since when can the laws of physics be broken? Since talking planets started hanging out to play card games, or Moon started to plan revolutions, or- Okay, point taken. Our universe is a bit... loose with the laws of physics, but we're having a little adventure. I know, but for how long? Let's do some math. If a single astronomical unit takes 8 minutes and 19 seconds to travel at the speed of light, and we need to cross roughly 100,000 astronomical units, then traveling at the speed of light, we would take... roughly a year and a half to leave. 
That is way too long. <laughs> it's nothing compared to how much time I spent alone at the Jupiter. Come on, break the laws of physics, Mr. Planet X. I, listen, I know you're not real, okay? You're just my subconsciousness giving me terrible advice, so stop it. I, I didn't mean that. Yes, you did. How could I have meant it if I'm still talking to you? Because you're crazy? I'm not! I... You know what? Want me to ignore the laws of physics? Huh? Want me to fast forward this entire journey? Fine! Hold on tight! Proto and Thea here. Our story has come to an end, but that doesn't mean you won't see us again. Really? Are we getting our own spin-off? <laughs> no. Oh. But we are getting our own plushies! Alright, that's also pretty cool. Look at them! You can get both now from the Solar Ball store. Links in the description. Uh, hold on. What happens if we crash them? Give them ideas. No, I mean it. Does an Earth and Luna plushie spawn into existence if we do? Maybe. Although it would take several billions of years. Eh, I can wait. Even your imaginary friend loved you. How's that feel, Rx? To be rejected to that extent. <laughs> Oh, and you even wanted to be the Jupiter of some solar system. Like anyone would ever take you. You're just a lonely, bitter, pathetic little planet, and you... Damn, I believe you lost your toy. What? 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 I'll take your time. Easy. Calm yourself. <sighs> what? What? what are you? I'm whatever my leader needs me to be. But you can call me wise. Hey, hey, hey! What What are you talking about? Your leader? Need to know basis, Planet X. Wait, you know who I am? Of course we know. We've been keeping an eye on most star systems in the vicinity. Listen, if you're not sure about what you want, I suggest you head back. Because if you follow me, you're not allowed to turn back. Show me the way. Thanks for watching! Oh, and the next episode is already on Patreon, so watch it a week early by joining. Also, consider checking out our Solar Ball store to get exclusive plushies and solar cards. Bye!